In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can attempt the test on an Android mobile phone through the app. Now, before doing that, uh, let's have uh, some discussion on important settings that you need to perform before starting the test. So the very first one is turning off the notification and to do that, go to setting and then there is an option called app and notification. It may be a little different in your mobile. So make sure you are comfortable finding this option. Now there is an option for notification. Now you have to select select all from seven days. And I want the very first one because recording is on, but I do not want WhatsApp notification to disturb me during the exam, Twitter, YouTube, Google, music, any one of these I do not require. during the exam. So I'm going to turn off every app notification except the one I'm using at this moment to record this video. I will go back. Now there is an option to change the display setting. So I'll go to display, go to advanced, and I'll find a screen timer. So you can search this option in your uh, using the search box as well in the main setting, or you can directly go to display advanced screen timer and keep it as long as you can so i'm going to make it 30 minutes okay so for 30 minutes my screen won't time out this is important because uh, when you'll be writing your answer on the answer sheet your mobile will be inactive so we do not want your mobile to be locked because if it will be locked uh, your exam will be interrupted so you need to keep it as max as you keep so i'm going to keep it to 30 minutes and you can see that option here as well that is being reflected now the setting is done now move to the next step installing the app so you have to go to the play store go to the search box and type perfect is eProctor search and now the very first option a rectangular box and a checkbox like sign is what you have to install that is the very first one and this is being offered by perfectis llc under the education category to click on this and since i have already installed it that is why i'm getting this option to uninstall and open in your case there will be an option to install so just click on install and it will start installing the app now that we are done with the changing the required setting and installing the app now it's time to move to the real examination app now to start the test go to the recently installed my perfectis app and this is you can see perfectis app is there so click on this app to give permission to allow the mobile photo media and files so i'm going to allow it now at the bottom there is an option called login so i'm going to click on login and I have got two box, email, phone, or registration number and password. So you need to enter the registration number only and then the password. This password will be shared to you using your My Message section of EMS and email ID that you have registered with us during the online examination registration. So enter your registration number in this box and enter your password in this box. That is second box. So I'm going to enter my credential, which is demo account so i'll click login and the moment you'll come and the moment you'll come back to the come to the home screen you can see there is a test visible on my account uh, in your case it will be the name of the course code uh, of that particular day in which you are logging and if you could not see that go to the hamburger menu the top left corner click test and again you'll come to the same page you can also refresh the page to see if there is any change and to start the test all you have to do is click on this name of the test you'll get the necessary information three questions are there 120 minutes total and this 120 minutes uh, since we have got uh, three questions so for each question you have got 40 minutes approximately and 
for four, in 40 minutes 30 minutes have been assigned to you to write the answer and 10 minutes has been given to upload the answer now you can utilize this breakup in any way you want but from our side 30 minutes minutes have been given to write the answer and 10 minutes to upload the answer at the bottom you can see attempts allowed per student is unlimited in this case in your case it will be one this is a demo account that is why it has been kept unlimited and this expiration date is never because uh, it is a demo account as i said and in your case it uh, this expiration days uh, will be examination schedule share with you so now that you have got uh, you have read all the information next task is to start the test and at the bottom you can see there is an option to start the test so i'll click on start and now we'll move to the instruction page now this instruction page is supposed to change in coming days so i'll highly recommend you to spend some time reading this and these are the instruction from this point onward uh, below the very first image that we are looking make sure you have enough data to complete the test and so on this is the format uh, in which you have to attempt the answer so that means at the top of the a4 sheet you have to a4 sheet you have to write the six crucial information like registration number exam exam date exam time course code course question number from the portal in the page number and then you have to write the question and then you have to start writing the answer at the bottom of the sheet you have to put your signature as well so yes i have read all the information i'm going to start the test click allow okay so this is the interface and you can see there is a rectangular black box uh, here you are supposed to get preview from the, your front camera and most probably your face will be visible here and you have to remain within the camera frame you do not need to move out of the camera frame if you'll move out of the camera frame that may lead to umc so please keep note of it and this is question number one and uh, at the top you can see the reverse timer at this point one hour uh, 118 minutes are left so i have already wasted two minutes and the question says what are your views on current india and china relations so now at this point you have to take a four sheet you have to prepare your, your a four sheet in the format that i discussed on the instruction page and then you have to write the answer and once you are done writing the answer then you can click image and upload and when you are going to write your answer keep your mobile in such a way that whenever you are writing your answer you are visible in the camera frame so you have to position your mobile in that way no further request later on will be uh, submitted or entertained that you forgot and you do you were not aware so don't do that i'm again repeating keep your face every time visible in the front camera and keep your mobile phone when you are writing your answer sheet at certain distance so that your whole activity could be looked into through the front camera so we will be looking at you from the back end so please make note of it now i have already prepared one answer so i'll show you how to upload that answer what i'm going to do i'll click on this camera button given on the interface in the center it will start the camera i'll point it out to the answer sheet and then i'll click I'll make sure the entire answer is visible I'll click on capture and I'll wait and the app will start uploading the image on its own you do not need to do anything additional you can see the preview looks quite great I can read the text very clearly and if I find that this is not a correct image I can always click on this cross button to delete that image and again upload the new one and if you look the format remains the same at the bottom i have got the signature at the top all six information that i have mentioned then question and then answer now the next task is to if i have another page i will go to again the camera button go to the second page and snap the second page i'll wait for it to be uploaded 
now you can see the second image has been uploaded okay and these two images are fine and in the second page i have not written the question again i have just continued with with, with the answer from where, where i left in the previous page so it means it is in the sequence and keep your head writing neat and clean so that evaluator can see your head writing clearly and always use blue pen not black pen now that we are done we need to go to the next question so i'm going to the next and now it will give the warning that please confirm quality of image yes it seems appropriate to me i can clearly read the text next also you would not be able to return to this question okay so this means that once you'll move from question number one to two you will not be able you will not be able to come back to question number one in any case so double sure before going to the next question so i'm double sure so i'm going to click ok and now you can see i have moved to the question number two and for question number two i'm not going to answer this because i don't know what to write here so let us say i want to skip this question so i'll simply press next and again i'll give the confirmation okay now you can see there is no previous button to go back okay and that makes sense now for the third question it is loading and then at this point i can keep the mobile phone start writing and once i'm done writing again i go to the picture button i'll click snap of the another answer that i have prepared I'll wait for it to be uploaded since the, this, this is written in uh, with the red pen so clarity is not there as much as it should have been i'll click on this image button again to upload the other part of this question uh, let us say i want to capture this one as well okay wait for the second page uploaded now that second page is uploaded we are almost good to go now here at the point i would like to point out something which you should not do during the examination so one of them is to go to out of this app so you can see now i'm at the home screen if i try to go back to the app click you can see i have got a warning now this warning is un unlimited in my case because of this demo account in your case it will be limited now that may be two three four five six any number okay so make sure you are not wasting this opportunity click ok secondly if, if i live and shift to another app and then i'll come back again it will be detected try to move out of the app window and as i said that you will be as i said that you will be continuously monitored by the university member during the examination so keep your webcam active and make sure you are within the camera frame now that i'm done i can always click on finish click click ok wait for it to be uploaded and you can see at the bottom there is a notification your attempt is successfully submitted now i can close the app and i can assume that my test is successfully uploaded